going on guys welcome back I'm gonna fly fish for about 45 minutes this evening the water's a little higher than I was expecting they said it was about 1500 CFS faster than I like to fish it but I bet it's at least double that I bet it's probably pushing 3,000 I'm gonna try to get some browns and some salmon I haven't seen anything jump yet there are a few hatches um, coming up looks like real small hatches so we're gonna get after them see if we can get a fish all right I'm gonna be starting with my go-to fly I'm going to be starting with my elk hair caddis with an olive body. Put a little bit of floating on. I just saw the first fish rise since I've been here on the far shoreline. Looked to be a small fish, but it's hard to tell. So what I'm going to try to do is fish this downstream, um, angle a little bit here first, then I'll work my way upstream. The water is at least a foot and a half high right here. There's rocks I normally see that I can't see at all. All right, nothing on the downstream line here. So I'm gonna try this other side. It's hard to float a fly in there without all these other lines catching it, but I'll give it a shot. Yeah, with the exception of that one fish, I'm not seeing anything jump. It's been pretty quiet. Oh, just had a hit. I was kind of slacking, just reeling up my extra line. I actually got a pretty good pop right here. That's why you always pay attention. Whenever you fly though, you should be right on it. Seemed like a good little pop, enough so I actually heard the swirl. What I'm doing is I'm just hitting right close to me here, and then I'm gonna progressively work my way out. So the hatch tonight is like a micro, oh, that was a nice fish. Hopefully that picked up on camera. That was a nice, that looked to be in the 16 inch range. Appeared to be a brown. Oh, oh man. That probably weren't the same fish. That was two hits. Oh, there, got him, got him. I think that was the second fish that came up. I'm gonna try to get this fish downstream. I think this is possibly a 12 inch fish. Uh, it could be a little bigger. It's pulling pretty good. All right, I'm gonna let this fish burn a little steam downstream so it doesn't disturb anything upstream. Yeah, I think this is a decent fish. I think this is definitely in the 12 range. Could be pushing 16. I'm trying to figure out the best place to get this fish. And I think it's probably down here. All right, come on fish, whatever you are. Let's come over this way. Oh, that could be a nice fish. Hopefully it's not a bass, oh, it's a bass. It's a bass. Not what I'm looking for, but still a nice fish nonetheless. Nice chunky bass, I mean, that's, for a fly rod, I mean, that's a nice fish. It's probably a 12 inch bass, nice and fat though. Should have known when he came back for it on that second cast. Here we go. Nice bass, nice smallmouth. Not exactly what I was looking for, but I'll take it. That really didn't act like a smallmouth. Normally, even on a fly, them things will jump almost immediately. That one acted like a trout. Oh, big fish. Oh, that is a big fish. That looks like a very nice either trout or salmon. All right, I'm gonna wanna head over there. I should be able to hit that fish just about perfect. Or perfect in the regards to getting the fly to him. I don't know if it'll actually hit, but I'll be able to at least present a fly to it. That fish jumped three times out of the water and I'm 90% sure that weren't a bass. We're gonna head down there and see if we can get that fish to bite. All right. All right, so I am upriver of that fish that just jumped. And what I'm gonna try to do is give that fish about five minutes and just see if I can see it jump again so I can get a little better location. I know exactly where he came up, but I'd like to get dialed in a little more on that fish if I could. All right, I'm gonna head after this fish now. He hasn't come up again since that first time I saw him jump. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slowly work down towards this fish. So I know I'm kind of right in line with him. I just didn't know how far he was from me. So we're just gonna see if we can work down to this fish and hopefully get him to bite. Pretty much right where I think that fish is right now. It's hard to tell because I was probably 40 yards away from it. 
but I'm right in the rough area. I think I saw a little rise. I don't think it's the fish I saw jump earlier. It could be, oh yep, whatever that was hit it. I don't think it was that big one I saw jump. That big one was out of the current. This one hit right on the current line. Well, I'm thinking this fish probably is not going to bite. I haven't seen this fish come up again. Yeah, I'm going to head back to that other rock point there. All right, so I'm back to the original spot. When I fished this about 10 minutes ago, I was only about two rod lengths out. So I'm going to go to about two and a half and see if there's anything out a little further. And there's the eagle right there. I see this eagle pretty much every night I fish this place. Nice, healthy looking. He's heading over into the tree line there across the river from me. The only hatch tonight is a micro hatch. Just tiny, 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 tiny bugs. I'm not even sure what they are. They're so small. Way smaller than anything I have in my arsenal to throw at them. One thing I don't have a lot of is the micro, micro flies. Like the 22s and 24s. I think the smallest I have is maybe a 18. I just saw a fish jump right in front of that rock over there, but fish is pretty much out of reach. Oh, small fish jumped over there. I'm going to try to hit this fish. This fish could be catchable. I think he's out of casting range, but I may be able to float that down to him. That's right in the area. To the right, maybe five feet. Probably far enough that I don't think he'll be able to see it. Just dark enough that I can't actually see where my fly is. Must not be throwing the right thing tonight. Not much of a hatch. There's not much to match up to. I've tried a few different variations and just haven't really found anything that they're too enthused about. Try another cast or two to this fish. Ah, see, he jumped right next to my fly. He jumped about two feet away from my fly. He's still feeding. I just can't see if I'm over it or not. I'm going to give this fish I've been working on a little bit of a break. I see something just rolled in that general vicinity where my fly was, but I didn't feel any contact, so I probably weren't going after mine. Oh, nice fish jumping in here, but I'm just not, not able to connect with any of them. All right, folks, I can barely see. I can't even really see where my fly line is. It's so dark now. So just the one bass for the evening. I missed a few other fish that seemed like they were trout. And I certainly saw a lot of trout jump in. I just couldn't hit them with anything that they wanted. If they were going after that micro hatch, I didn't have anything that was even remotely close to them. I mean, the hatch I saw was probably fly size equivalent, like 22s or 24s. Just way smaller than anything I had. We're gonna uh, we're gonna keep fly fishing and see if I can get some good videos. The water's just been way too high. It's probably 2,000 CFS higher than I like to fish it. But I'm gonna keep after them and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.